Hey, welcome back. So in this episode, we're looking at how to keep things uh, simple. Yes? Mm -hmm. So by keep it simple, what I mean is that uh, you have to reduce the amount of uh, code you have to edit when uh, fixing your web application, right? You have to limit points of entry to your application. That's number one. So less points of entry. I'm going to explain that a bit. And then segmented code. What segmented code means is if you find yourself uh, typing too much code in one file, cut a certain amount of code and put it in a different file and then just include the other file. That is because when you're doing error checking, in the, uh, the error is going to tell you which file has the error. And then if you uh, you have one very large file, it's going to become very difficult to see, to figure out where the problem is. But if there are segments, you can simply go to a very specific uh, a file to get it. So it just makes uh, debugging easier. And also if there's a security breach, you know exactly where the problem is. And where possible, use OOP, object-oriented programming, because it makes your code more organized and it's easy to figure out where the problem is. It's easy to secure your website when you need to because you know exactly. Uh, OOP usually encourages, um, by nature, encourages less points of entry to your application. So let me explain a little bit what I mean by less points of entry. So let's see, for example, you have a website. So I have these files here. I, I will link them in the description so you can download them and follow along. So if you open the folder in the browser to the index page here. So here we're going to go to uh, security, localhost security. That's the name of the folder I given it and index.php here. If I refresh the page, this is what I get. So I created a very simple uh, looking website here with just a few posts. So this is Lorem Ipsum here, post number one, post number two. And if I click read more, I go to the posts.php page and where I see more posts here and they are all in full. This is a uh, pretty straightforward. This is a one page, which is the index page. And if I click on posts, it's a different page which is the posts page. So as you can see in the link here, it says posts.php. And when I'm here, it says index.php. Pretty straightforward. The only problem is that there are so many points of entry here already. There are two pages and two points of entry because when I'm on the home page, I'm entirely on a different page than the posts page, right? Not the same page at all. So if for example, there's a security breach somewhere and I need to fix the entire website, I'll have to go page by page to fix these problems. So I will be on the home page and I have to put a security thing there. I'll go to the posts page, do some. Now this is okay because there are two pages here. Now imagine a very big website, which you've been, because every website, as you work with it, you start adding more and more pages because clients are like that. They'll be like, okay, we need a new feature here. We need a new feature there. And before you know it, you've created a monster because now there's thousands of pages that are completely independent from each other. That becomes a problem because when you want to secure it, there's so many places that weak spots can be, which you may never actually know. There could be a weak spot on the contact us page and you don't know. And that same contact us page will lead to the hacking of the entire website. It's like when you have a house here. I have a uh, pictures here of uh, very nice uh, state-of-the-art houses. And if you look at this, uh, there's this house with uh, one window and one door, and there's this house with just a door, no windows. And then there's these with so many windows and doors. So if you had to ask me which house is easier to secure here? So obviously the less windows and doors you have, the easier it is to secure. This one with no windows at all, with just a door, a door here, would definitely be easier to secure, right? So we have to make sure that our application has the same principle, that uh, the less entry points, uh, the better security we're going to have. 
So the idea here is every time you have a website with many, many separate pages, that is not good. What you have to do is convert all of them to run only from the same single page. All you have to do is include every other file. So you have one page like the index page and then you include every other file in that index page. The advantage of that is if there's a problem, you just close down the index page and everything else is closed down because there's one single point of entry. Okay, so we'll use the index page here to do everything. So what are we going to do now to fix that problem? Let's see the steps we can take. So the first step we're going to take is right click on the security or just create a new folder in the main folder here, new folder. I'm going to call this one includes, yes, includes. And then what I would do is move every file into that one. So here, and uh, I have no idea. Let me right click and open containing folder. Okay, so here we are. So we have an includes folder. Now don't mind this HT access file. It's going to come in later. But what we will do here is, uh, actually before we start moving any of this, let's examine the the file itself, the, these files here for a second. So in the file, like in the index file, another uh, mistake that is here, which is several points of entry again, we have a connect to database here because these are independent files. So each file connects to the database separately and then it reads the posts here. So this index page is connecting to the database separately and then reads the posts. This is exactly what the posts.php is also doing. It's connecting to the database and then uh, reading the data. So this also is a security problem because if you find a security issue about the way you are connecting to the database, you're going to have to go through every single file to rectify that problem because every file is connecting to the database and reading there's a query here so we're not supposed to be doing this we're not supposed to be querying things down here and even connecting to the database at all we're supposed to have a function that does the querying for us that way if there's a problem we just need to change one single function and the whole website is updated so that's how you do it more efficiently so let's see how we can go about doing that. So like I was saying here, if we go back to our folder, which I magically can't seem to find. Oh, there we go. Security. Yes. So in here, I created a folder called includes. So I'm just going to move all these files, the login, post, sign up into the includes folder like that, except for the HD access file, leave that one be. So let's come back here. So we see everything has gone to the includes. Now, if I right click on security, new file, and this will be the index page here, index.php. Now it's very important for security here, for security reasons inside the includes here to rename this home page to home.php. So I'm going to rename it to home.php. Now the reason is that it's an index page there, right? let me put it back as index so I can show the problem here, is that if somebody for any reason manages to navigate to the includes folder, they're going to be received by the index page. So the index page will run automatically. Now we don't want it to run like this. We want this to fail instead. So what we do is we rename this to home, maybe home, something like this and then right click, create a new file, save this one as index.php. This one, we're not going to put anything here. We're just going to say silence is golden. Nothing, you know, but you can put a message here, access denied or something like that. That way when somebody refreshes here, oh, they got silence is golden. They're not supposed to see that. So let's put a PHP tag like so. Boom. So if you want, you can just tell them uh, 
access denied echo access denied so this file is just there to act as a deterrent from somebody viewing the files in here that's it or you can just leave it blank like so so that's the idea then the home page here is loaded when we load the real index page out here so the idea now is let's go back here for a sec let me put some php tags php and what i want to do in here is get the page number like the page the current page here and i'm going to get it using the get variable so i'm going to say get page like that that's where we'll get our page from so copy this and i'll say is set like so okay so if is set like that question mark full colon home so what we're saying is if this is set let's get that if it's not let's just assume we are on the home page right great and then here we check and say file name is equal to uh, file name is equal to file sorry there and then concatenate the dot php as discussed earlier and then the folder let's create a folder here say folder is equal to empty uh, includes actually like so and then we'll use the globe to get our files I'll say files is equal to globe and we put the folder then we add to the folder a star and a dot php like so those are the files we're looking for and then we must check first if in array okay so if it's in the array so what's the need what what are we looking for we're looking for page or we're looking for the file name let's do this uh let's say file name we'll create that where is file name oh file name is equal to here so i'll just move this above this so file name and the haystack is inside files that's the array so we're looking for a specific file this one which is there inside this so if it exists then let's include it so we're going to say include file name like so else we're going to create a 404 page and include that looks includes slash 404 dot php great yeah mm -hmm. looking good so in here i'm going to right click and create a 404 page i will say uh sorry file was not found save this as 404 dot php inside the includes folder all right great so let's come back here and go back out undefined variable file on line 8 so let's see why we have that problem so line 8 file is undefined oh sorry it's supposed to be page yeah page sorry about that refresh sorry file was not found hmm so let's see if the if this doesn't exist right now so it's home so home if we come to page so this one is page which is home.php and then um, includes this is the folder and these are the files in there uh, okay so let's see what files it got I think that's where the problem is so let's do a print R it's very easy to make these silly mistakes here so let's go back here and refresh okay so we do have these things in here but uh, it seems there's the includes and home already there so that's where our problem was was it 
was in the folder file name so the files are there so I'm saying in array file name which is this one okay so that's why it's not there so easy peasy we're going to add the folder there copy and concatenate the folder like so and now refresh there we go so as you can see now I'm loading the home page here just fine but uh, how do I load other pages? Well, I'm supposed to do the index.php there. That's the index page. But if I want to load the posts page, instead of having to click on posts here, because no matter what I click here, oh, post.php, uh, it actually, I don't know what it's doing here. It's loading the index page regardless what I click here, right? why is that well that's because if the get variable is not set it will always be going to to be home so it's looking for the home page every time once these are not set so you can make it in such a way that uh, if it's not set you put an empty there then it's just going to say file not found like if i refresh now sorry if i was not found uh yeah or something like that but for now, what we do is let's make the get variable accessible. So we're going to put a question mark and say page is equal to, and let's posts like that. So you see, once I add the posts variable there, then I'm on the posts page. If I add the home at the end here, I'm on the home page, just like that. Let's go to the login page like that. Okay. So we just need to update these links here to ref reflect that, okay? So if I come back here. So the point uh, I'm trying to make here is that now we're only accessing the index page. So regardless what happens, this is why if I come down here and echo something like still on the index page like this you see that this will echo every time regardless what page I open so if I refresh here still on the index page right if I go to another page and say page is equal to posts right I'm still on the index page regardless so here I'll put uh, login I'm still on the index page but the viewer sees something different. However, the advantage of this is that we are on one point of entry, which is good. Okay, so let's see how to segment the code in the next video, since we have one point of entry now, and we will see how to use the HD access to make it better. And then we'll look at how to segment some code and how to use object-oriented programming to make things more secure. All right, I'll see you in the next video.